Justin Belshaw here, reporting for Radio Bravery, down on the water underneath the St. John's Bridge in St. John's, Oregon. I'm coming to you with your first weekly pedo profile. Exciting, isn't it? Well, not quite. Um, actually, we are here to talk about X-Men director Brian Singer. Um, here's a headline from the Daily Mail from April 17th of this year about a month before his new X-Men movie came out. X-Men director Brian Singer accused of sexually abusing underage male child actor and giving him alcohol and drugs during sordid Hollywood sex ring parties. Now, don't be surprised. This is what's going on every single day in Hollywood. You should know this. We all should know this and we should stop ignoring the truth. Um, 48-year-old director was hit with a lawsuit filed in Hawaii by victim Michael Egan, who is now 31 years old, and he was 17 at the time of these pedophilic rapes that were going on. Um, <clears throat> the uh, article has a nice staple here that says, Singer's latest film, X-Men Days of Future Past, premieres next month. Oh, just a reminder, we should all go and see that too. No, don't give money to this pedophile creature. The weekly pedo profile is to expose monsters and credence that run this world and are absolutely obsessed with the fetish of pedophilia. There is a worldwide network of powerful pedophiles that are running things and that are getting away with sexually abusing young boys. Now, <clears throat> moving on in the article, um, Michael Egan, the uh, victim, is asking for $300,000 for catastrophic psychological and emotional damage. Um, this is not going to be enough. Um, this, this man, young man, is definitely messed up for life and always will be, and how can you blame him? He was abused by one of the most powerful directors in the country, Mike Brian Singer. Um, you can just imagine what that would do to anybody. Um, <clears throat> he moved to Los Angeles when he was 14 or 15. Um, at that time, he was introduced to Hollywood power player Mark Collins Rector. Um, at, he was uh, then brought to Mark Collins Rector's house um, <clears throat> which uh, was dubbed the MNC Estate in Encino, California. He was also introduced to Mark Collins Rector's lover, Chad Shackley. Um, at this time, uh, when he was introduced to Brian Singer by Mark Collins Rector, he was swimming in the pool, but naked, because what are the rules at Mark Collins Rector's house, or the MNC Estate? Well, you can't have any clothes on in the pool, especially if you're an underage boy. Um, so he was swimming naked in the pool when Brian Singer wa walked up on the edge of the pool, and uh, Mark Collins Rector ordered uh, Michael Egan to get out of the pool and hug Brian Singer. This is when Brian Singer grabbed uh, Michael Egan's butt from behind, and um, <laughs> you can imagine how uncomfortable that might be. But, you know, this is a guy, this is a young in, in uh, what's the word I'm looking for, impressionable boy who is trying to get a start in Hollywood, trying to become an actor, and thinks that the only most powerful people, you know, who are giving him a shot, the only thing he can do is listen to these people who are basically in charge of him at this point. This is a impressionable 17 or 15, 16, 17 year old boy, you know, all, all ages, underage, you know, still considered a minor. Um, still would, you know, be in the custody of his parents. Um, this is not someone who, you know, is mature enough to make their own life decisions quite yet. Um, so he uh, then was ordered to get into the jacuzzi with Mark Collins Rector and Brian Singer. And at this point, this is when uh, they're... Um, 
This is when the real gross um, pedophilia activities started. Um, since that point, uh, basically Michael Egan was under Brian Singer's control uh, with the luring of telling him he's going to be the next star in his movie, he's going to be this, he's going to be in this, he's going to make money, you know. Of course, being a young impressionable boy, not knowing what to do, probably scared out of his mind. Um, listen to Brian Singer, and Brian Singer would supposedly take him to the Paul Mitchell Resort, offer him cocaine, Xanax, ecstasy, all kinds of drugs. He would take other uh, children there as well. Um, Brian, uh, Michael Egan, the um, victim, has actually come out recently and <clears throat> accused more Hollywood executives now. Um, <clears throat> He said, uh, television executives <clears throat> Garth Ansier and David Newman and entertainment firm executive Gary Goddard were all also part of the underage sex ring in late 1999 and 2000. That's Garth Ansier, Garth A-N-C-I-E-R, David Newman, N-E-U-M-A-N, -E and... Hollywood huge mogul Gary Goddard were all also part of this underage pedophile monster sex ring, abusing young boys with their power and taking advantage of people who can't defend themselves. Now, <clears throat> with all this said, um, this person is still in the box office, still making millions, still out of jail, and as well as all these other Hollywood directors. The reason why I am going to focus once a week on one of these disgusting pedophiles is because for thousands of years, humans have defended children from monsters and leeching vampires like these disgusting... I can't even call these people. People do not take advantage of little children and use them. Satanists, evil, disgusting, dark pedophiles do this. Pedos. They want to call themselves pedos? Go for it. Pedo bear can take you to jail all day long. I am absolutely done listening to these people, watching their movies, respecting them, and letting them go on with their lives with their millions. Everyone right now is worried about Robin Williams and, oh, the poor guy. Well, you know, that guy was rich, you know. He, he had it all. He was powerful. He could have helped people. If he was more worried about his family and friends and things like that and being a positive person and stopping the pedophile activities that were going on all around him, everybody in Hollywood knows this goes on. You know, wake up and say something. Stand up. I'm just a, you know little tiny person in Portland, Oregon doing this because it matters. It matters that this doesn't go on anymore. The weekly pedo profile will not stop. Next week we will be focusing on another powerful person who is still walking around freely after abusing, touching, raping, using young boys. This is wrong. This is a gigantic worldwide pedophile sex ring that is going on today and we need to help expose it. Share this video with as many people as you can. Share these articles. This is the Daily Mail. This is Reuters. This is New York Times. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of articles on Brian Singer being a pedophile. Don't go and watch X-Men. Don't throw out your X-Men movies you already own. Don't spend another dime towards this pedophile monster. This is Justin Belshaw reporting for Radio Bravery with your weekly pedo profile. Oh. Oh. Oh.